guys, welcome back. Sterlite Technology is the stock on our radar right now. Uh, the company is now trading or the stock is trading X of the power business. So Sterlite Technology is now a pure play telecom company that you can see up about 4% over there. The power business, as we know, has been demerged into a separate unlisted entity and that will stay unlisted at least for a while. Anand Agarwal of Sterlite Technology joins in now to tell us what the future of the uh, telecom business could be um, here on. Uh, Anand, hi, good morning. Just tell us now that you know the stock is trading X of the power business and it's a pure play telecom uh, vertical. What could the growth look like over the next one year? Good morning, Sonia. Uh, the, you're right. The telecom business is a. Uh, the stock is now uh, trading for only the telecom business. Uh, we've seen that over the last five years, the telecom business uh, revenues have grown at about 28% uh, year on year, mm -hmm. and uh, EBIT, the operational profits, have grown about 36% year on year. So that's the sort of direction, uh, and that's the sort of tailwind that we are coming up with. We believe that with the kind of outlook and the kind of projects that we are seeing, we would be able to maintain in, in that sort of a range uh, our revenue and uh, EBIT growth. Sent? Sorry, I didn't get you. So you said you will maintain your revenue and EBIT growth at what? Uh, we have maintained it at 28% mm. for the last five years and 36% uh, uh, EBIT growth for the last five years and we are aiming to maintain it in the similar range. Okay, okay, that's what I was asking. Uh, what about your net debt? Uh, there is a, uh, I think a net debt of about a thousand crores with an interest cost outflow of about 113 crore. Uh, is mm -hmm. any aim to reduce this since you're doing so well at the EBIT level? Uh, clearly, uh, there is the debt uh, that we have uh, is uh, slightly higher on account of uh, uh, acquisition that we did last year. So any cash flow that comes right now, we are uh, clearly allocating part of that towards debt repayment, a part of that towards uh, some growth that we continue to see in terms of uh, capital expansion and the other part going towards uh, dividends. But uh, clearly the, there will be a lot of focus on uh, debt repayment uh, as we go along. But uh, we are seeing a good level of growth also in terms of revenues. So part of that, uh, that uh, most of the debt is focused towards uh, working capital only and uh, that's, that's what the residual debt in the company would be. So I just wanted uh, two more uh, comments on the return ratios. Your ROE, return on equity, stands at 22% and the return on capital employed is at 18%. You did mention in the conference call that it could see an upward trend going ahead. But can you tell us what exactly is the internal target that the company has both on ROEs and ROCE? Uh, the return on capital employed, uh, Sonia, over the last three years has uh, almost doubled for the telecom business. So we were at about 8 or 9 percent and we have uh, gone up to 18 percent. And that's largely happened because of the fact that our uh, optical fiber business, where the bulk of the capital is deployed, is running at full capacity. Mm. Uh, we believe we'll be able to inch it up a couple more points. Uh, uh, bring return on capital employed closer to 20 percent uh, and uh, consequently the equity should also move up uh, but we are we are aiming for the capital to be close to 20 percent okay you said in your conference call that you are not just now at the moment just a cable manufacturer but you are doing a lot of network managed services solutions I mean basically you're a service provider now how much do services contribute how much do cables contribute what's the split Sure, uh, Lata, we are uh, pretty much now an end-to-end -end provider. We actually start off with uh, basic silicon, convert it into glass, optical fiber, then cables, and then do the solutions. And with the acquisition of a software company, we are actually now doing end-to-end -end from silicon to software. Uh, mm. So uh, from that perspective, uh, uh, the, the products business, which is essentially the glass, the fiber, and cable, Last year was about 75% and uh, services and software was about 25% and we believe that proportion would uh, grow year on year because the order book proportion is more on the services end. So will that improve margins then? What are the margins now as of now and what will it be in FI 17-18 as services increase? Uh, the margins uh, uh, overall uh, depend a lot on the mix. The products business show a margin of about 22-23%. Uh, the services business has 
lower ebitda margins but better return on capital deployed okay. and our focus will be now more and more that we keep uh, inching up the return on capital deployed and the resultant margin would be a uh, uh, more a proportion of the mix in which we do the products and services okay. so uh, finally then can you give us an update on the recent projects that you backed uh, in the two smart city development projects that's gandhinagar and jaipur uh, what's the progress there and any more such projects that we can expect or that are um, you know expected from the company sure uh, we are doing one large project which is for deploying uh, uh, optical fibers for the uh, defense in jammu and kashmir we are doing couple of uh, cities uh, uh, gandhinagar and jaipur which are at the final stages so we would be completing the first phase which is the current order uh, uh, by july or so and uh, we are so in from the list of almost 33 smart cities which the government has uh, 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 planned out uh, we are in active discussions with 10 or 11 of them and we are participating in most of the bids which are coming out All right, we leave it at that. Anand, pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much for joining us and giving us all aspects of your business. Well, we want to veer back to the markets for to answer one uh, quiz that might be uh, you know puzzling all of you. Yesterday and today, while SBI 